Hi there, YouTube. As you can see, this is our second uh, OAuth box opening. We had a one terabyte hard drive. You can check that video. We have the uh, Asus G73 laptop right here. Uh, notebook, whatever you want to call it. Pretty big box. Looks very nice. This is probably the highest end laptop you can get right now without spending a million dollars. It was $12.99 um, in thousands there for it at Best Buy. Um, very good price, uh, hardly beatable. Let's get into it. It's got a seal right here for you. And then you should be able to. Oh, there's a seal on that too. Look at that. Again, I am a professional with a knife. I've killed people. All right, let you guys take a peek in there. Looks like one side has your stuff, and the other side has the notebook. Go ahead and grab the notebook to pull it out. We'll set the box aside for now, and we'll get into that stuff in a second. This was the first thing we got out. Came with these on here. And you've got a nice little protective shield. And your laptop will just slide right on out. Wow, beautiful computer. Wow, it is black. This is as black as black gets. Not sure if mine is showing it, but this is black. Um, flip it so you can see it. It's got a Lamborghini type emblem. It says Republic of Gamers, Asus, and Chrome. And that is the top. It is designed after a, uh, gosh, a jet fighter. And uh, this is your bottom. And your battery port. Let that focus. Two exhaust ports, one over here, one over here. And on the front, oh, we got stuff falling out of it. On the front, you've got uh, a light emblem, a battery emblem, hard drive emblem, and a wireless emblem. Looks very nice. Intake is here, and a subwoofer port right there. That's sweet. It's got a subwoofer built in. Let's check out the sides. All right, you've got your micro and SD card slot, two USBs, one HDMI out and a VGA out, and your power in. And on the back here, this is where your lock, if anyone does those, a lock and an antenna port if you need it, I guess. And your internet in, this is a 10, and USB, your uh, hard drive bay. Another USB, so four USBs in total. And you've got an audio a mic in and a headphone jack out. Nicely located on the side. Let's go ahead and open her for you. Wow, beautiful. Screen is protected with the cover. It says stop if you experience a problem. Contact somebody else. And then this nice cover so it didn't scratch in shipping. Let's go ahead and pop that out. Wow, nice looking laptop. Very nice. All right, the screen, we're going to go ahead and pop these off, okay? Yes. All right. Wow, beautiful. Oh, even the, even the webcam up here, can you guys see this? There's a webcam. <laughs> Tilt that up, please. A webcam right here. It is a 1.3, I believe. Wow, very nice. Little triangle, looks very nice, stealthy. And uh, three buttons here, notepad, everything, very beautiful laptop. We'll get the battery in in a second. Let's set this aside for now. All right, let's go back into that box. I pulled out a single box here. It was on that side. It's a huge box. Pops open. Wow, stuff is falling out. I opened it the wrong way. Open it the other way. All right. Looks like right here we've got our battery in a nice pink case. Mmm, pink. It's a man's color. Women always thought they showed it good, but I show it better. And a battery notice. Probably telling you how to charge it first and stuff. It is a lithium ion battery pack. 5200 ma, 75 watt. It's a chunker. And it has a rubber piece right here. This is your bottom. Set that here. And this is the power supply everyone is talking about. This is a brick. A huge brick. This is my hand. 
Yes, it takes up my whole hand. It's a block. Rubber on the bottom, a light right here where my thumb is, and this goes into your computer. Nice, long, thick, thick cord. All right, set that aside. And then you've got right here your other power cord that just connects to it. It's got a triple connection going into your wall triple, so it's got a good ground. Set that aside. Let's throw our battery in and boot this bad boy up. All right, everybody. Battery has two clips right here on the bottom. One is a lock. That's this one. It stays one way. We're going to make sure that's unlocked. This one just kind of flips open. Oh, you can't see. Can we tilt the camera, please? All right, this one locks one way or the other. This one over here right here just kind of flips. Make sure you're unlocked. Just going to take it, drop it in, make sure this one clicks. Take this one, clip it in so it's not going to fall out. Not going to fall out. All right, beautiful moment. Wow. Gorgeous looking computer. Got your power button right here. I pressed it. Can you guys see all this? You're seeing yourselves. That's cool. Whatever. You're fine. All right. It does say starting windows. Oh, sorry about the glare, guys. First boot up looks beautiful. Not sure you guys can see it fully and nicely, but whatever. Let's see if I can get a better angle on that somehow. Yeah, not going to happen. So the screen has a little bit of glare, as you can see. Um, from my standpoint, looking at it, it's not too bad. Is it bad for you? Natural glare from a laptop screen makes the screen look really nice. Of course, it's setting up and checking performance for now, so don't know how much more I'll show you. We'll go through some other stuff right here. It shuts off your backlit keyboard and turns it on. You just press the button. Does it. And it turns on a blue light here, and I'm sure there's some other stuff somewhere. This is your turbo boost mode, and this is a quick screen selector if you're connected to other stuff. So these three buttons and your power button over here. Over here. It has a full keypad right here, and um, it's a real nice looking computer. She's going to set it up, so I guess that's all we'll show for you guys. If you need, ask me as many questions as you need. I'm going to have this laptop for at least probably two weeks, um, just myself, then my girlfriend might take it, but she'd like me to all set it up and stuff. We'll see how gaming is a little bit, maybe play Far Cry or something, but um, looks like a really nice computer. It's got a i7-720 and 6 gigs DDR3 1333 uh, FSB. Um, so it looks like a domination computer, a 500 uh, gig hard drive at 7200. Real nice computer, looking forward to testing it out. This thing looks ownage and there's no way Alienware could ever compete with this thing for the price. Not a possibility in the world. So I really suggest go getting one right now. There are other versions out there that come with 8 gigs, a terabyte, and um, upgraded other stuff. But uh, this is the base model for it, and the base model is good enough for me. The graphics card is a 5870 mobile. That's ridiculously awesome. So you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching the video. Ask me questions. Have a great one.